Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn for Fun. I'm your host Sylvia. What's up guys? So today I'm going to be making this super yummy and super delicious, one of my favorites, um, Saputana Khichdi. So let's get started. For this I've taken about 2 cups of uh, Saputana or Sago. Uh, you, need, you will need to soak it overnight or at least for six to seven hours so that it puffs up a little bit so take about uh, two cups of sabudana rinse it two three times now here comes the tricky part how much water to add and for how long you need to soak so add water just enough to cover the sago or the sabudana grains um, it should not be like too much or too little and then let it soak overnight or for six to eight hours the second ingredient we need is one cup of roasted peanut powder one boiled potato half to one teaspoon of cumin seeds few curry leaves two to three green chilies as per your spice level one to two teaspoons of sugar salt and coriander for garnishing as you can see here that if you soak it right with the right amount of water the grains just puff up and they just separate out they are not too hard not too soft so now let's add the peanut powder salt one to two teaspoons of sugar this is optional uh, but it adds a good taste uh, so I like to add it and now mix everything thoroughly now in a pan add about one to two teaspoons of oil or ghee I prefer oil but a lot of people prefer ghee so as per your preference add that to it add the cumin seeds let them crackle and to it add the curry leaves and the green chilies now to this let's add the boiled potatoes fry them for about one to two minutes and now let's add the sabudana or the sago mixture on a medium medium to high flame saute it for about two to three minutes and then uh, reduce the flame to medium and let it cook it's been five to seven minutes and as you can see that the color of the sago or sabudana has changed and it has so that's that shows that it's cooked and uh, I think it's ready to serve now let's add a little bit of coriander leaves and give it a stir for about a minute and look at that our sabudana khichdi is ready to be served so let's just transfer it into the serving bowl can't wait to try it as you can see that all the grains are separated and it's fluffy and it's soft so i'm gonna try it mm, mouthful of goodness so now i'm gonna go and enjoy my sabudana khichdi and you go and try it out and let me know how it turned out uh do share your comments in the section below um do give it a try i am sure you'll like it let me know how it turned out um don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't already press on the bell icon for the notifications uh thank you for supporting my channel thanks again for watching I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, happy learning, happy cooking.